right. So, the best Marvel movie to date, in my opinion. I used to be a big Marvel fan until too many goddamn movies came out. It got too damn confusing. And they started making movies about characters that I never, ever cared for, such as Ant-Man. Doctor Strange, like those are those used to be the B level characters on Marvel's roster. The A list was always like X Men, you know, Captain America, Sp Spider Man. Those were like the A list. And then when they started making B list characters, making tons of money off of them, it, it turned me off, you know. So. But I'm still a fan. I'm not a big fan, but I'm a fan. And drum roll, the best Marvel movie to date. I still consider Captain America Winter Soldier the best, absolute best Marvel movie to date. That's under the MCU banner, so that's not including like the X-Men film franchise or anything outside of what Marvel and Disney have made and Winter Soldier by far is I'm, I'm, I'm still putting it up there as number one because that movie put the Russo brothers on the map that movie got them the Avengers gig and they're very talented the brothers, the Russo brothers, they're very talented. And they didn't come from a, like an action background. They came from like TV shows or, or sitcoms. And when they made that movie, like it was, it was incredible. It was incredible to watch the introduction to the Winter Soldier, AKA Bucky Barnes, his, his design, although it looks like the comics, like, when they translated it onto film, like it looked incredible. Like he looked intimidating and he was threatening, you know, and he was like an imposing character and it, it gave Captain America a run for his money. And then once once you see him in the sequels, like they half assed him and they made him like human again. You know? Uh, and it was just tragic because Bucky was on Captain America's level, kicking his ass. And that posed a real threat. A lot of these Marvel movies, they tend to get very fantastical and, you know, the whole world's at stake. And, you know, we've seen it, like, so many times. For example, like, the Transformers movies, you know, where there's, like, so many elements, so many things are at stake. And, like, it doesn't stay grounded. With this movie, it stays grounded. The threat is another human being you know and you can relate to that and that's what winter soldier brought there's a scene that people always use in their youtube marvel highlights and to this date to the, to this day excuse me is still one of the best scenes to watch and i'm talking about captain america's elevator scene you know that put like cap on the map you know Cap wasn't like that respectable in his first solo movie, let alone like uh, the first Avenger. He was like like a wuss in those two movies, you know. And this movie, like, he he earned those stripes in this movie. Let's just put it that way, you know. And then ever since then, like Chris Evans, stardom like just rose, and everyone loved Captain America. Even his costume. In the Winter Soldier, in like the first half was like it looked good, you know, minus the red and white stripes. His all blue suit, not that was awesome. The story was great. Like that movie, like they knew how to create tension and build up to like key moments, you know. Such as like the very first intro action scene where Cap falls from the from the helicopter, 
and fights and fights um, GSP George St. Pierre MMA fighter that was cool the build up to Bucky Barnes Winter Soldier review and like all the Winter Soldier scenes were like really really intense it has it had that grounded feel like kind of like what Christopher Nolan did with the Dark Knight and that, that's cool you know and that's what you call a good goddamn Marvel movie Captain America the Winter Soldier and that is the reason why that is the best Captain best Captain best Marvel movie what I think will give it a run in my opinion is Black Widow with the introduction of Taskmaster again like it's sort of grounded but based on the trailer it gets kind of it gets kind of fantastical with all the air flying and fighting and stuff like that so but yeah Winter Soldier awesome awesome movie that movie the blu-ray is still expensive you know so if you haven't seen that movie or if you well a lot of you guys have seen that movie already and if you've seen it would you would you guys consider it one of the top three Marvel movies to date let me know in the comments below thank you so much for watching